how you guys are doing? Um, my name is Haina and I'm um, making this video to expose rapper Saigon. Well, first of all, he is a disrespectful ass nigga. And I don't stand for disrespectful people, so I'm gonna expose your ass. I was really nice to you, very, very nice to you. And then you wanna call me a bitch in a hole just because I won't let you feel on me. So, hey, that's a bitch. Well, this actually just started. He's been you know, sending me messages on Facebook for um, a couple months now, about three, four months. So I give him my number, you know, I love him. He could be a potential trick. So give him my number and we started speaking. He didn't beg him to chill with me for months. I yelled to show him. I didn't want to show him until the other day, last week Tuesday. He came and brought me a salad. And he was like, y'all do it and go to the greenhouse and it's um a home big stack birthday. I mean I don't get the greenhouse. He wasn't doing anything. So it's like, you know what, I'm gonna go. So we go, all right, first of all, if you are a rapper, let's keep parking at, parking at a meter for it. What if I valet, hello? Then we get in the club. And this nigga's walking around in circles like a dumbass. Nobody showed this nigga respect. I heard, I thought you were a rapper. Number seven on the billboard, rap chart. Got it here. So he takes me to the bar, gets me a drink. Still trying to figure out why he's not VIP popping bottles but you know you know so we find his homie made his bags so we go and we chillin you know three o'clock got a headache I was like oh, I'm trying to get the fuck out of here so we leave on the way back to Spring Valley and then we stop at a gas station which is about like 15 minutes away from where we live and he goes in the bathroom. He's in the bathroom for 10 minutes in the gas station. I'm in a car show him, wait him. And then he gets in the car. He gets to Spring Valley less than 15 minutes later. And this motherfucker is talking about how I go home to use the bathroom. Now this that's just sounded suspicious. I'm like, oh, this take me home. Because they're just calling me. Like, you a hoe. You a hoe. That's what I'm going to feel on me. You're not my man. So I'm not going to let you feel on me. I'm not talking to you. Why the fuck would I want you? You're making me feel uncomfortable. I treat myself like a woman. And I'm like, no nigga disrespect me. If, you, if I ain't fucking with you, what you touching me for? So he's not going to use the bathroom. He's like, yo, I'm going to give you $500. I'm going to give you $500 if you come in my crib. First of all, one, I don't want your money. Two, I don't want your money. Three, I probably woman got $500. And three, what makes you think I'm a whole new crib of $500? Like, I'm some fucking hoe. Money hungry bitch, no. I'm far from it. And what the fuck am I gonna do with $500? Can you give me a pair of Louboutins on sale with that shit? Act like you know, Saigon. So he takes me home, and I get home, and he is blowing up my phone. When I tell you, I put that shit on solid, woke up in the morning. I found 36 missed calls, and I was at the end of it, because he was calling me the whole entire day. He was calling me about 58 missed calls from that nigga. Straight up, he's fucking crazy.
he has all of his other collection and he takes it on tour with him. That's what I mean. Two. I feel like his ass looks pretty badass. And first, he's probably gonna make a freestyle about me. Because he threatened to make a freestyle about me if I expose him. So, look real, look out for that one. I think it's crazy. So then we will see more of me.